Welcome to Cadenet TV. We're pleased to have with us today Jay Thompson, uh, the past president of the Canadian Association of Internet Providers, leading advocate and spokesperson for telecom issues. So Jay, it's good to have you here today. Nice to be here, John. I understand that uh, ministers uh, Clement and Moore have been involved in uh, internet uh, uh, copyright uh, consultations this summer, and that you've been involved in these discussions. And I'm wondering whether you could give us a little bit of context to those discussions and why they're important to businesses and consumers. Well, it has been a very busy summer on the copyright front uh, here in Canada. As the ministers announced uh, at the beginning of the summer that they were going to engage in public consultations on amendments to the Copyright Act. Now, this is an area that has been uh, front and center of public debate for the last number of years as the government has attempted on a couple of occasions since 2000 to amend the Copyright Act to bring it up to speed with mm -hmm. the new digital era. Uh, and this is the first time in the last 10 years that they've actually reached out uh, to the public and invited uh, the public to comment, to meet with them in town halls, to uh, make submissions online. And uh, the whole purpose is to lead to a new and up, uh, a future looking Copyright Act uh, to deal with uh, the new world in which we live. And you were at the presentations, I understand, uh, you know, speaking out on some of the themes and issues. Can you share with us what are the key issues and themes that are being examined? Well, as you can appreciate, with over 5,000 different uh, comments being submitted uh, through the process over the summer, the issues are uh, across the board. Everything you can imagine in the world of copyright has probably been raised by those that have been uh, active over the summer. Uh, but I'd say that the key issues would be the, uh, those that relate to the implementation of the World Intellectual Property Organization treaties, which were passed at the international level back in the mid-90s and are still, uh, still raise issues that are continuing to be debated here in Canada and around the world. And so those are areas such as uh, digital locks, digital rights management and whether uh, companies can put digital locks on their product and if so uh, what they would protect in terms of content for how long, what kind of uses, whether they should be limited to protecting only against copyright infringement or, or all kinds of uses has been very controversial on a number of levels. Um, expanding the exceptions to copyright so that uh, the kind of activities that people are engaged in nowadays with uh, the ability to take content and shift it to various different uh, um, media or devices that they have for personal use, whether they'll be, have, they'll, able, they'll be able to have more opportunities to do that without technically infringing on copyright. Um, from the internet service provider perspective, which is the area that I primarily address when I appeared at the town hall meeting in, in uh, Toronto at the end of August. Um, it really relates to liability for the content and the actions that others are putting online and the internet service provider ISP is the intermediary whether they should have any kind of liability to the extent that their users infringe on copyright. And our argument of course was no, that should not be the case. Um, it's not the case anywhere else in the world and uh, we should continue to follow that pattern and, and in fact continue to lead in this area as we have since 2000. Excellent, of course this video is going to be linked to your newsletter update and I know you're available uh, if people have issues and concerns they can communicate with you directly. But before, or rather in addition to copyright, I know you scan the environment regularly. Are there other things on the horizon that we should be tracking that would have a bearing on the success of, uh, of, of the industry and really the climate in Canada to grow businesses? Well, certainly there's been a lot of attention paid to the whole issue of net neutrality lately and, and whether there's going to be any kind of legislation or policy developments in that respect to ensure that uh, Canadians and uh, smaller internet or independent internet service providers continue to have access to full broadband capabilities. Um, there are competitive issues that are always ongoing in this area between the independent internet service providers of which uh, CATA CAPE represents a, a large portion of and whether they'll continue to be able to have the flexibility to offer competitive services to, or service to their customers. So that's really key I think over the next uh, few months and even years. Jay Thompson, leading advocate and spokesperson for the telecom industry. We've heard about copyright, we've heard about net neutrality, 
You've heard about other competitive issues relating to the internet. So Jay, thanks for joining us and uh, good luck with your, uh, your communications. Thank you, always a pleasure. Thank you.